Okay, so the windows are closed so that I don't get disturbed by the noise from outside. But then that means that my time is limited because I'm parked in the sun and it's just a matter of time before I start boiling in here. So bear with me. Lighting is not so great, but whatever. <clears throat> I want to talk today about... Um, so I was listening to just give some context to this. <clears throat> As I was driving with a client, I was listening to the show where people call in and ask, well, they tell their story essentially and ask for advice. So this lady spoke about how she helped this guy from pre basically from nothing to where he is now. And now he's at a point where he can afford things and he can do things. And he decided to buy a house for another girl and not this girl. And I think they're together. And I think also, she also found this guy with a kid and she helped the kid, you know, through school and, you know, all that stuff. She, she has a good heart. She has, she has a beautiful heart. Lovely person. But then, you know, because now a guy is buying a house for another woman and, you know, she, he left. So, yeah, essentially, guy just left the lady and that's that's what happened. And i'm smiling not because it's funny it's just that it's an interesting story i'm not laughing at her her pain that is not what i'm doing here but that then leads me to 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 you know this point which is something that the guys on this radio show also told this lady that look when you do these things when you did these things you did them out of the goodness of your heart you did them because you wanted to do them yeah you were infatuated by love or whatever it is that it was but you did it because you wanted to do it. You believed in doing it. And I think it's worse as well for relationships because I think we should all understand by now that, I mean, given the statistics, the amount of breakups that happen, just unofficial breakups, and then the amount of official breakups that happen in the way of divorce, because that's when things are actually official. Everything else is really just a joke. <clears throat> If we look at the number of these divorces and these separations that take place, we should understand and we should leave space to that possibility. And not even necessarily the possibility for separation, but also the possibility possibility for loss. People could die. You could build someone up and then that person dies. Or maybe even you die or you get crippled or get into an accident and now you have a burnt face. And maybe this guy doesn't want a burnt face. Maybe this girl doesn't want someone with a burnt face. Whatever the case may be. But essentially, what they were saying is, it's, it's what I'm going to be adding up on, is that you did this because you wanted to, you did this out of the goodness of your heart. You should have expected that things could go south, things could turn around, things could go wrong. I mean, that's a human being you're dealing with. And, you know, they, 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 they turn around. It's a natural being with its own mentality, with its own mindset, with its own consciousness. And they can tomorrow decide something different. It easily could have been this lady who, at some point after bringing this guy up, felt like, you know, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm gone. It could have been that way. But then, unfortunately, it's this way around, in which case she helped him get up. And now he's up and he's like, I don't want to be here anymore. And he's gone. So <clears throat> I'm going to bring this into a, is patriarchal the right word? I almost want to say political let me say activist, into a more activist scenario. I don't feel like that's the right word either. Jeez. But, you know, think of it in the case of maybe you, you're an activist and you're fighting for a certain rights or you're fighting for a certain action to be taken or you're fighting for a certain group of people. I think what we should learn from this and from history itself is that people don't particularly owe you anything. People have their own lives to live. They have, the, they have their own choices to make. When you decide that you're going to fight for certain rights, or that you're going to fight for certain laws or constitutions or certain people or certain age group or whatever it is that you decide to fight for, understand that those people may not stand in solidarity with you. Those people perhaps can be the one to then betray you. Someone from that group can still be the one of a group of them who can then come to destroy you, even though you live, breathe, and fight for them. They could come back and be the ones to be your downfall. 
And that's just how life is. And I think that in everything we do, in all the fights that we make, we need to accept that possibility and that reality, actually, if you look at the statistics, it is actually a reality, not just a, a possibility. You're going to go into a relationship, you'll find a girl or a guy or whatever it is you're into, and maybe they're not at the standard that you think they, that you'd like them to be, or maybe not at your standard, and you love them and you take them through school and you show them a nice life and you take them to fine dining and all these things, you show them traveling and all of that understand that tomorrow they can turn around and not want that anymore, not want you anymore. Maybe they want that, but not from you. Maybe now they've been able to have access to someone else who can give them that in those spaces that you took that person to. And then there they could then decide, you know what? I think actually person B is the one that I want to progress with from this point in my life going forward and not the person with whom I got to this point. At the same time, again, like I said, these you as the one who is building someone up, if that is how you see yourself, you can also get to a point where like, as in, I've built this person up to where they are, but like, they don't interest me anymore. I don't feel like they need me anymore, but more certainly, I don't need them anymore. So I'm just going to be out, which is fine, which is, I guess, nice because now you've helped them get to a point where they, they perhaps needed to get, and now they can continue on for, for by themselves. And maybe because maybe you're just a charity case, and you're just going to, is that is that how they say it? No, the, whatever. Maybe you're just going to go and then find someone else you're going to then take to the next level. But then it could be you who leaves. Yes, most cases is the other people we hear crying because, again, you know, they feel like they've lost a lot because I've given everything to this person and now they're leaving. But there are people out there who give everything to others and then they decide to leave because they're like, yeah, no, I don't like the way you look now. I made you fancy. I made you, you know, up there. And now you're just like everything I didn't want and I'm just going to go find something else. And it happens. And when we come back to the activist stuff, think about all the leaders that have died. Let's just bring it back to South Africa. Bring it locally to South Africa. Look at the people who have died fighting for, you know, fighting against apartheid, fighting for the rights of black people, fighting for a myriad of things. How many of them have been properly avenged? If you look at the constitution now, does it really speak to what these people died for? If you look at us, the way we are living as black South Africans in this country, black South Africans in this country, it's a bit redundant, isn't it? The way we're living as black South Africans, are we upholding? Are we avenging these people's deaths? Probably not. I don't think we are. <laughs> I'm looking around. I don't see that happening. So then you wonder, was it worth it for these people to do that? And what I'm trying to teach you is that whenever you go into something, understand that the people you're fighting for, the people you're helping, the people you are putting in bloodshed, blood, blood, sweat, and tears for may not reciprocate that energy. They may not feel like they want to continue with you or want to continue with the direction you're trying to push them into. They may not feel like you're worth it. You know, you could just fight for them, maybe even go as far as dying for them. And, you know, they'll just continue living life as if you never did anything. And again, I go back to the heroes that have died for us to be where we are. And look at the state of things, this, the way black people treat other black people. It would be sh Those people would be so ashamed that, wait, I died so these people could treat each other this way? I died so that the treatment that people are getting from a different race, they now get from each other? Is that what I fought for? It's not what I fought for. But unfortunately... Once you decide that you're going to fight for people, you do not get to decide how other people reciprocate that energy. Unfortunately, you do not get to decide if you're going to give birth to a child. Is that child going to love you? Is that child going to take care of you? Is that child going to grow up, be great, and then help you improve your life? You don't know that. It may not happen. It may. You hope that it does. In most cases, fortunately, it does. The kids come up and they, 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 they take care of their parents. There's no guarantee for it, though. There isn't. And I'm just trying to say that whatever it is that you go into, whatever it is that you do, understand that the person you're doing it for may have different beliefs. People that you're doing it for 
may have different values. The people you are struggling for, pushing for, laying your life down for, simply may not care. And I guess that's the plight that a lot of people who are trying to change South Africa now are up against. That I'm teaching, I'm singing, I'm voicing out, I am going everywhere on all different platforms trying to tell people this is what we need to do. And people just aren't reciprocating that energy. Don't blame them. That's just what human nature is. You see, again, you see this in relationships. You see that is you see this anywhere. You see this in history. It's not going to be different. Human behavior is not suddenly going to be different just because you are not doing it. So understand that and not to say that you should stop doing what you're doing. No, maybe don't. Maybe do. Whatever. It's your choice. But understand the reality. Understand the possibility. Understand that everything you're doing, no one might give a hoot. And you might be doing it might all be in vain. And as painful as that is, that was the most liberating truth that you could ever accept. So whenever you go on and you do what you're doing and people don't seem to be reciprocating, people don't seem to be appreciating it, or, you know, people seem to appreciate it until a certain point where they call you a sellout or they, whatever it is that people do, understand, I hope you will have understood that no one owes you jack. No one owes you anything. You're doing what you're doing out of your own uh, your own will, out of your own heart. And if by the end of it, nobody gives a damn, that just is what it is. You just got to move on. I think I did not wipe my camera before recording this. Oh, man.